Estimated in the last start of year, but we didn't really explain um, anything to do with what we did estimate it. Um, property of an estimate. Um, so if the expectation of some estimate is the expectation is the default, um, T is an unbiased estimate. Estimator basically any parameter uh, mean deviation variance. Okay, whatever we're trying to estimate there. If the expectation of our estimator is um, a parameter, the estimator is unbiased. Doesn't necessarily mean it's a good estimator. There's lots of um, different parameters, but somehow. We're looking at something different. Fine, if we have looked at expectation, we will need that for the example. But if we haven't, I'll make a sort of catch up video on that later. And you can come back and look if you don't understand um, it now. You can maybe look at the example later. Um, so, if we take i n independent. Um, what the distribution is, just the mean, mu, and variance, the sigma squared, um, and it's mu's less important. If mu's the mean, um, we know that the expectation to mu for all i. The expectation of a random variable is the mean. Um, so we're going to take the estimate x bar. And x bar is the sample mean. We think the sample mean will be an unbiased estimate of the mean. So we'll just take that. So x bar is equal to 1 over n to come from i equal to 1. And um, of the x bar mean. Okay, so the expectation of x bar, bear in mind this is our estimate t, is equal to the expectation of 1 over n of the sum from i equals 1 to n. Y. You can take out constants out of an expectation. And then you can also plot the linearity of expectation. Well, this is the second class, so not autos because of that. But the, the expectation of the whole sum is the sum of the individual expectations. So if we take the expectation in here. Okay, and what we've got here, the expectation of x to the i for all i's. So this mu, so we have 1 on n, and we are summing from i equals 1 to n for um, mu. So that's just mu added to itself n times, so that's equal to n mu. And these two n's cancel each other off, and that's equal to mu. And uh, so x bar. Bear in mind if we wanted to use x bar for an estimate, x bar, the estimate of x bar would be the root bar of each of these samples. You just plug in the values in, calculate the mean. And just because it's one bar, it doesn't mean the sample mean will be equal to mu. Okay, just one bar to explain the experiment. The mean is not in the words. If you did enough experiment, the mean of the sample mean should come out with mu. Um, just like when we roll a dice, the expected value um, would be 
treat me by that's only the, the value of the I mean, when we roll it, we're going to get 3.5, it's impossible. It means, you know, one, one, then a four, then a two, then a six, and three, maybe for the reason of whatever. But it's not all the speaking, but it's just it's going to tend to, by average, roll it down to three and a bit more in this case. Like I said, if, uh, it's After that, we're going to look at uh, the properties of tomatoes. Uh, we're going to use to try and estimate certain parameters. Um, yeah, thanks for watching this video. If you did find it useful, please be sure to like the video and subscribe for more math tutorials. Thank you very much.